اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم لیٹس سی انادر پریکٹیکل کوشچن ا مشین وچ کاسٹ 30000 ہیڈ این ایسٹیمیٹڈ یوزفل لائف اف 5 ایئرز اینڈ این ایسٹیمیٹڈ سولویج ویلیو اف 10000 سو ان دس کیس یو کین سی ڈیپریشیبل ویلیو از 30 مائنس 10 20000 and straight line depreciation is used give the entry in general journal from required for each of the following alternatives there are one two two uh, two points that how the entry will be recorded in general now the first one is the machine was sold for 19500 after two years so you need to work out out of 30000 the two years depreciation So whatever depreciation comes to less and then you compare with 19,500 and if there is profit or loss we have to record. Similarly, sometimes we exchange an asset, trade in. The machine was trade in in after three years, not two years, after three years. So there are three years depreciation should be taken into account. Another machine with a fair market value of 37,000 and trade in allowance was 21,000. Trading allowance means the supplier of new machine said, okay, for this old machine, we give you a 21,000 off. So basically, the cash you are going to pay is 16,000. Let's see. Uh, first, cost is 30, solvage value is 10. So depreciable value is 20, useful life is 5 years. So 2 years depreciation comes to 4000 per year 8000 net book value is 30 minus 2822 and you are selling for 19500 so in this case you are sustaining a loss so the entry will be debit cash debit accumulated depreciation two years depreciation and then loss of 2500 and credit the machine by 30000 now if there is an exchange that is slightly difficult net book value after 3 years after 3 years so 3 years depreciation is going to be 4000 each year 12000 so the carrying value is 18000 and trade in allowance given by the new supplier is 21000 so there is a gain on trade in and cash we paid 16000 so see the entry we debit new assets the one which we are buying or rather exchanging then the accumulated depreciation which we have a credit balance in our accounts so we should debit that also and we also remove de recognize the old machine because it is handed over to the new supplier which is 30000 you also paid cash of 16000 and since there is a gain on trade in 3000 so we credit gain on trade in now in some cases you know you are buying a group of assets so that becomes a bit difficult that how to allocate the cost total cost to those group of assets so there is a complication that we normally use the market value of those assets and accordingly we distribute the total amount according to the market value per rata basis so this is another a issue of a property plant and equipment that when you are buying a group of assets there is going to be a problem thank you very much